so I'm just gonna ask you like a straight up question. Okay. Don't need a long answer. Was this year harder than the prior for your district? Did you find Absolutely. that or no? Okay, so that's been consistent. Okay, so we are recording this at the end of the 2021-22 school year, going into, and by the time people are listening to this, we're going into 22-23. Do you think this year will be better than the last? And if you do, why would you say that? And if you don't, like what are, like, and maybe what are some of the things that we should be concerned about if we're going into it? Because I'm actually like, it's kind of like, I, I guess I'm saying, please predict the future. That, I was about to say, I do not have a crystal ball. I cannot right. predict the future. But right, because like, if I would ask you, if I'd ask you at the end of 2021, you're like, how could that get any worse probably, right? right? <laughs> yeah, but I can't tell you, I think the reason why it felt worse was because we were so disappointed in what we thought reality was going to be, that it was going to get better. Right. And it didn't, I mean, it was just, it's never going to be back to how, you know, it was, but never is it ever. Like you're always growing and learning and changing and things. So, but um, I think that disappointment of the gap of what we thought it was going to be and what it is. And so really we're trying to think through things of, okay, if something were to come up, are we, how can we be flexible? I think we've learned a lot about flexibility. Right. We've learned a lot about um, adjusting and then, um, I mean, one of our big focuses for next year is really going to be on the well-being of our staff right. um, because, you know, we've focused so much on kids and attention on kids and what they've gone through and helping them through things. And so how do we help our staff navigate that? And that, you know, I mean, as educators, we have plans, like we plan things out and we, you know, follow that course. And it really, the plan is not the most important thing as mm. the process and thinking through the plan so that whenever you have to pivot or eh, that word, um, whenever you have to adjust that it's okay, you're ready for that. And you're not thinking the line is going to be straight. And so when there's a turn, you're so disappointed and upset about it, but there are going to be curves in that road. So how do we create a pathway but we're flexible on that pathway i think we're preparing better for that right. um than we have in the past i actually like i i i think for the first time like because everyone's saying it, it's been harder and i understand that but i don't think i really like i think i just thought yeah it's harder but i didn't really understand that you put a really great perspective is that it was like really just terror like we had higher expectations for this year mm -hmm. and it wasn't as smooth as what we wanted and you know Part of that just that kind of disappointment and i appreciate you sharing that about um health and wellness of staff right because that's something that's been really huge for me really improved my health over the last while and feel like i can deal with negative stuff and issues way better than i have in the past which is great like it seems to slide off me a little bit because i've taken better care of my health <laughs>